What is up, party people? Welcome to the second month. We skipped a month, but it's the second month of Comic Book Club Donkey Donkey Jaw Jaw Projects. Projects. And this month we read Remind. Or I read it. We'll see if anybody else reads it. (laughs) Um, But I just... uh, just read it. Um, I figured I started reading this uh, this other comic. <laughs> Let's see. I was started reading this for a little bit. It's an old Kirby comic, Mr. Miracle. Um, I got in a couple pages and I'm like, you know what? I really need to be at least starting Remind because it's coming up to the end of the month and we got to do Comic Book Club and yeah. So I just was like, all right, I'll start it, see how far I can get. Within about a half an hour, I was done. I mean, this thing's thick. There's like 130 pages. So it's kind of crazy. So what did I think of Remind? Um, Well, let's see. It it was interesting. Um, Very obviously, like, that's like one of my first things. Like, 130 pages i don't know how many exactly it's about 130 pages this is the first volume as well so it's not a complete story um but 130 pages and it only took me about a half an hour to read so you know the storytelling is uh, not very dense um i guess is the word um it's interesting uh it's de- it definitely took me into like an interesting like kind of fantasy world it's very like calm and chilled out but it's kind of adventure at the same time um there was a sort of tense moment um and then there's like there's a decent amount of backstory to it it was, it was interesting. Visually, it's really amazing. Like, I love the color work that he that Jason Brobaker did. Um, <clears throat> he uses a lot of textures. Um, again, the paneling is very large. There's like sometimes you know there's a splash page, and then sometimes there's like four or five panels. He doesn't go past four or five panels a page very often. Very big paneling, um, not a lot of condensed stuff. Um, and, you know, the story is interesting. It's it's kind of just beginning, I guess, you know. Um, I think he did three volumes of this, I want to say. I don't know for sure. I think he did, like, three. But, uh, you know, I'm hoping... I don't know if the rest is online for free or not, um, but I would like to check out the rest. It's, um, trying to think, like, it's hard to think of, like, like, it it follows this whole story of, like, this cat, really, but it's not a cat, it's something else. I don't want to spoil it too much, but, and then there's, like, some kind of, like, weird religious cult slash kingdom thing, and there's a mystery in a town mysterious things in a town kind of like you know if people were to people who like visit you know places where they've had like alien um like what what is that town with with the alien thing like the crash landing supposedly and they the people visit it um so it's kind of like you know visiting a town where they've heard something crazy has happened or whatever so that's kind of interesting. Um, there's the girl that you see right here. Her name, I think, is Sonia. And, you know, you get a little bit into what her background is. And and you get to see that she's a little bit sad. But also, like, she's got, like, this inventiveness. You know, she's like an inventor. That's really cool. Um... I feel like there was parts there was parts where I was reading it where I feel like there's missing things like things that were skipped like they could have taken more time to kind of dig into specific like char- 
like the character stuff like they could have built the character up a little bit more or like they could have like I, I think the fact that it has less panels is really cool I like that it feels like it breathes but at the same time sometimes I feel like he could he could have maybe added like three two or three more panels to kind of build up to something um you know and this is to be fair this is like his first graphic novel, you know. Um, I think he did some other floppy comics before that, but, uh, you know, it's, it's not, you know, th this is his, one of his early times of kind of delving into comic storytelling, I guess, as far as I can tell, um, or as far as, it, but it's, it, I mean, it's professionally, it looks beautiful, like, this is easily something that would be in, any image comic, you know, it, it would be an image comic or whatever. It's definitely of that kind of style where, um, you know, it it's, uh, I don't know, it, it kind of reflects maybe like, um, you know, Calvin and Hobbes a little bit where it's like cartoony but also with little amounts of detail that make it really cool to look at and stuff like that. Um, I guess, you know, the thing is, is I feel weird because I want to read a full story. And I feel like with these, um, comic book club things, just reading, you know, a story where it's like, it just started, you know, and it's like, okay, I'm not a hundred percent sure where it's going. I'm not sure if the setup is, is, you know working towards the end yet because I haven't gotten to the end, you know, that kind of thing. Like, it's a little bit hard to, like, really look critically into something that's kind of just beginning. Um, it's interesting. There's definitely a lot of interesting elements. The storytelling is clear. You know exactly what's happening throughout the whole thing. Um... I'm starting to feel a little, I'm starting to feel emotionally attached to the characters to a certain degree, but I feel like there could have maybe been more time spent or something to bring that emotion to fruition a little bit better. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just unsure a little bit like about what I think of, of this book. Um, but visually, it's amazing. It's beautiful. I love, like I said, I love how the panels breathe. I actually like that I could sit down and read this whole 130-page thing in a half an hour. Um, probably should have taken me an hour. Like, if it, may, maybe something like this should have taken at least an hour or a few days, you know, hitting it a few times, you know, for half an hour here, you know, 45 minutes there, that kind of thing. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, maybe the storytelling could be, it's like it's slowed down by the visuals, but it's sped up by the fact of, fact that there's a lack of, of, um, dialogue and, and things like that compared to, you know, other books. <laughs> I don't know. It's interesting though. So I would definitely recommend checking it out. I mean, it's free. All you got to do is go to his site, sign up for the email newsletter, and you get everything that's in here as far as the comic pages for free. So definitely check it out. There's a pinup of Sam, from Sam Keith in it. Um, here, let's see what Sam Keith has to say. Brubaker's work belies a curiously mature and seasoned sensibility. It's like he's been telling graphic stories for years. His fluid compositions, generous use of blacks, compact economical pen line, and astoundingly gorgeous color sense are yummy stuff indeed. I'd agree. Um, creations like Sonya and Victuals, which is like the main character, the cat character, is Victuals, um, seem to have always been with us. Discover why Jason Brubaker's unique characters will show he's definitely arrived in the field of comics. Cool. Um, let's see, I'll, I'll read the little blurb of the story, too, like what the story's um, about. All Sonya wanted was to find her missing cat, Victuals. 
but when he washes up on the shore of her sleepy coastal town several days later with a head full of stitches and the startling ability to speak, no memory of how he got that way, and no memory of how he got that way. Her quiet life is forever changed. Together they set out to solve the mystery of his disappearance, embarking on a journey that leads to a strange kingdom under the waves and into the heart of a royal power struggle, where the vic answer to Victual's true identity could save or doom them all. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so, it's interesting because, you know, it says, you know, they both go on this journey, but it's really Victual's. And it's weird because... Um, you know, it kind of, that's one of the things, like I was saying, like, it jumps from, like, okay, Victuals is telling, like, where he came from to the girl, and, you know, not much time is taken, and, and all of a sudden, she's just like, oh, come here, and she's got this way to help him, and then all of a sudden, he's jumping into adventure and finding the place where he came from, like, really quick, and it just seems like, it just happened too fast, maybe? I don't know. But at the same time, I know, you know, in stories where it takes too long to get there, that annoys me too sometimes, so I don't know. It's interesting. Definitely read it, check it out, see what you think. Um, next month we will be reading Watchmen, which will take a lot longer. <laughs> I have that uh, sitting on my shelf. I've never read it before in my life, so it'll be interesting um, to read what is known as a very classic um, comic book that, you know, it, it's a staple. Like, if you are into comics, you have to read <laughs> Watchmen, I guess, and like Dark Knight and certain books like that. Um, so I'm finally taking the time. I've had the, I don't know where I even got, oh, I got it from my buddy, my buddy gave me some comics one time and uh, that was in it and I'm like alright well I'm going to have to read this thing at some point so good time is as good a time as any so if anybody wants to join with me um, I guess comic book girl is watch is reading this too with some she has some kind of event going on with people reading the book too so I kind of purposefully put it during this month because they're reading it too. I don't really know. They have like a system of how they do it, but I mean, I'm not doing it with their system. I don't really watch your videos too much just once in a while. Um, but you know, I figured why not? I have the book on my shelf. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. I need to finally read this thing. I'm sure it'll take me a lot longer than a half an hour to read this one. <laughs> so if you're interested in coming along the ride with me, feel free to. There is a Facebook group where you can, um, you know, join in and tell me what you think. You can make your own video response telling me what you think of Remind or telling whoever, you know, people what you think of Remind and also Watchmen when it, you know, next month. I mean, you can read whatever you want and make that be part of comic book club as well this is a very open thing it's open to anyone originally i was kind of saying like where creators read so that they can study their craft but i'm opening it up to, to everybody you know because one thing i found out is even if you're not a creator comic book creator i've heard a lot of people who aren't comic book creators talk very intelligently and interestingly about story and they know how it works and that's the whole point. I'm trying to learn about story, and I think that all of us need to learn under, to understand story better so we can make our own other cool stories or just intelligently speak about the stories we love. Um, so, so yeah, um, it, it's very open. If you want to read your own different trade and talk about it and call it the comic book club, I'm cool with that. Like, there's no super crazy rules if you want to join me join me if maybe you'll start a book that you know i haven't read and i'll read it too and respond to that in a video or something so comic book club is very open you can do whatever you want kind of but you know i don't know maybe we'll we'll refine it as we go you know but it's a monthly thing i'm going to do one video for comic book club a month i guess i don't know we'll see <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'm I'm doing it monthly for now.
So thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys got something from this. Again, go to Jason Brubaker's site, download this, read it, check it out. It won't take you very long. And it's an enjoyable thing and very beautiful visuals. And yeah, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you think. Peace out.